Hello, my YouTubians, and welcome. Yeah, so, you want to be a paranormal investigation. Episode 8. Alright. Today's a little bit different. Uh, there have been other investigators that have done this uh, thing. Um, I can't even think of their names offhand, and I, I would tell you if I could remember. Uh, but anyway, there are things that sometimes, you know, we don't, we don't even think about. You know, uh, being, doing this as long as I have. Uh, 50 years plus You learn a few things along the way and uh, sometimes you learn the hard way and uh, so this is something that maybe uh, You could you can adopt and I mean there's lots of other people that, that have showed this before uh, But you might not know them so but you know me so I'm going to show you uh, what it is When you go investigate uh, if you investigate public places or whatever that's one thing um, if you investigate a business, uh, someone's property, someone's house, uh, anything like that, that's a total different ballgame, okay? So you have to protect yourself and your team. And you also got to protect the people that you're investigating for, right? So make sure you have a standard working contract, okay? Now, everyone should have one of these. There should be no reason why you shouldn't. Uh, no exception to the rule. Okay? And, of course, you can tweak it and change whatever you want on it and uh, and do whatever. But, but essentially, what you're saying is you're not going to hold them responsible for any of your equipment that gets lost, stolen, or broken. And they can't hold you for anything that gets lost, stolen, and broken at their place. Um, you're not going to... Sue them if, if, you, if you, like a dumbass, fall down a bunch of stairs that, you know, you should have been paying attention to. You're not going to sue them, not going to hold them liable. And they can't hold you liable, right? And um, also, to protect your butt, uh, you let them know that the evidence you collect is your evidence, all right? And that you can do with it as you see fit. But you also got to you also gotta protect who they are. You got to protect their integrity, their... Uh, wherever the place is, whatever, if they so wish. So you got to put that in there too. Now, some people will say, "No, we don't mind. You know, use our name, use our place, whatever. That's great." But you, you, you want their permission to do though to do that, right? So uh, because depending on the case, what a situation, people are going to effectively do different. So here's an example of our of our uh, standard contract okay i'm gonna play it for you and i'll be right back jason bones inspectors paranormal paranormal investigation release i blank blank have the authority to allow the members of seabass paranormal access to a home business or property located at in on the dates of for the purpose of conducting the paranormal investigation the investigation process has been explained to me. My signature certifies that I agree not to hold Seabass or any of its members liable for damage or missing property, and Seabass agrees not to hold authorized party of owner or property liable for injuries that may be obtained on the property during the investigation for equipment or personal belongings that may be damaged or missing. By initially, I also agreed to allow Jason Bones Inspectors ownership and permission to release any data documented at this location that may educate and further progress the field of paranormal research. C. Bass agrees to withhold any personal information such as names and addresses with the release of any data to protect the identity of our clients. And then, of course, you both sign it. Uh, one of the members, usually is a senior member uh, of, the, of the group, and the client will sign that, okay? And then if you want, if, if it's okay for them, uh, if, if they say, yeah, you can release our name or whatever, you just write underneath there, uh, we have permission to release the name, address, whatever. And then they can just initial that, right? Uh, that way it protects you and it protects them, okay? And um, so it's a very good idea uh, to make sure you got this, okay? Uh, I know it's uh, uh, not something that uh, that most people will think about, but uh, it will protect you and protect your clients. So it, it's something good to have. And um, 
not only that, it, it gives you a professional uh, stance, you know, um, so your client will say, okay, well, these guys are serious business here, you know, and it, and it assures that, you know, you're going to do a good job. So, yeah, so keep that in mind. And, uh, of course, you can make yours any way you want. You can change this or change that or whatever. I mean, through the years, I borrowed a line from this guy, borrowed a line from that guy, whatever, uh, to make mine better, you know. So feel free to do the same. And uh, like I say, uh, protect your group, okay, and protect yourself and protect your clients. And this will do that, all right? So there you have it. Okay, so now, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, watch how it goes, and have a great day. All right, we'll talk to you soon.